Okay, I'm out front of this house on Bogart. I just want to give you a feel for the area. So this is, I'm standing directly in front of the house, but I'm looking north. So this is like towards the hills, towards State Street, if you're looking at the map. Um, and this street, uh, it's kind of a mix. As you pull onto Bogart off of State, um, it splits and you can go left and it's mostly newer houses. And if you go right, which is down where this uh, house is, it's kind of a mix. You can see, like the house next door is older, but it's been fixed up. I mean, at least kept up, it's nice. There's an older house next to that. And then across the street over there, there's some newer homes. Um, some newer homes kind of tucked back in there. And then right across the street here, um, I think that this, it, yeah, it's just a house that's sitting uh, perpendicular to the street. So this is directly across the street. There's a little private subdivision that's newer, nice homes. Um, so uh, this is Hepburn Lane, if you're looking at a map. But these, I don't know how old these houses are, but they're probably all definitely less than 20 years old. Um, you can see there's some established uh, landscaping, and these are, are nice houses, a little private street. Uh, and then the street dead ends down this way, I believe, and um, some glare there. But basically the river, the Boise River, is down that way, and uh, there's, you can't get to that neighborhood through here, but there's several million dollar homes back there and several multi-million dollar homes so um, you're kind of surrounded by some nice areas and the access is good and then this is the house here it definitely needs some love landscaping needs some help um, you can see i'll just i'll give you a pan i mean it's it's in totally livable shape but there's lots of diy upgrades and the landscaping has definitely not been kept up um, the driveway here uh, is an old asphalt pad that has not been maintained and so it's just crumbling apart so there's not really any driveway to speak of it's 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 here but it would definitely need some attention but as i walk up to the house i just want to give you a feel for the layout i mean you can see the front yard is big the backyard there's plenty of space back there um, there's space on the side here you've got uh, a two-car garage here that I, I've not gone into. We'll see if I can get in there. And then there's a cup, there's a shed back behind the house through that walkway. And then you've got the main house here as well. So there's a, a little walkway up to the front door. And you can see the house is, um, there's like a, a faux flagstone on the bottom. And then this is, I think that this is probably, it's either aluminum or steel, but a metal siding. Um, and then around the side of the house, there's a little patio on the side. So I'll, I'll walk through the house and we'll come out this door here and, and walk around the back. But just to give you a feel for the front of the house and then looking out. Um, it, I mean, you could have some beautiful curb appeal here. It just, it's going to take some, some love. So walking into the house here. So right when I walk in, um, we're in the living room and the the ceilings are it's kind of low here these are like seven yeah probably seven foot ceilings they feel a little it feels a little bit tight i don't know if you can tell that in the video but um if i walk straight ahead through this little walkway here it takes me to a hall where um there's three bedrooms back there and the bathroom and then to the right here there's a smaller room that could it could be a bedroom but it's really small he has it set up as like a little music studio uh, and then to the left is your kitchen um, there's a little dining nook right here and then you can walk back through the kitchen back through here and the laundry room is back there and it'll also connect back to this uh to this hallway where the bedrooms are so um, i'm going to start here just kind of to the right and i'll work my way around the house uh like a counterclockwise way so this is the, the little studio setup so there's some built-in closets and stuff here um, it's got a cork floor and this room is only about maybe eight feet wide uh, and then down this way, it's probably probably 14 or 15 feet long. So it's a long, narrow room. Um, I mean, you could certainly fit a twin bed and some stuff in here, but it's just, it's it's small. Uh, so then coming out this way, um, here are, uh, oh, I said there was three bedrooms down here. There's only two. So that, that room we just looked at is, is one of the bedrooms. Um, oh, I do want to point out as I'm going along, um, like the main area here has laminate flooring, but you can tell it it was a, like a, a do-it-yourself kind of job. There's a lot of gaps in the connections, and you can see the transitions. There's spaces there, and the cuts aren't clean. 
Um, and each room has a different type of flooring too. So uh, definitely something need to be taken care of there. But this, this is the biggest bedroom here. Um, this room is probably 12 by 12 feet, something like that. Um, there's a closet to the left right here. And then you can see just so you see the details, like some of this trim needs to be cleaned up and caulked. Um, it looks like somebody did. I can't tell if this is drywall. It's not. This is like a paneling. So this wall just has paneling all around it. So it has baseboard heat. You can see the cuts around the baseboard heater are not good. And you probably shouldn't have that paneling touching the baseboard heater anyway. So there's some work to be done there, but it's a pretty big bedroom. Um, okay. Coming back out again, living room front door and then I'll come down this hall and there's another bedroom here and it's got this uh, this is a, a slightly different flooring than that other room but same type of thing there's gaps and it, it needs to be addressed so this is a decent sized bedroom too it's probably 12 by 12 feet that's uh I think that's a queen mattress there so there's a little bit of space in here it's not not a teeny room um and then here's your closet and looks like these walls are all like a panel panel wall too um, so coming further down this hallway, uh, I'll circle back through the kitchen, but you've got your bathroom right here. So bathroom is five feet wide and probably 12 feet deep, 10 or 12 feet anyway. You've got a six foot vanity here. Um, and then it's got a cork flooring. There's a big vinyl mural on the wall here. And then uh, you've got a really basic uh, fiberglass surround and a bathtub. And the lighting is not great in here, but uh, it's all in usable shape. Probably could use some more caulk. It's nothing fancy or beautiful, but it gets the job done. And then walking back out through the uh, the bathroom, and just for your reference, the kitchen is right here. So this is directly across from the kitchen, but this is your laundry room. You come back through this hallway and there's a long, narrow laundry room. This is just concrete floors in here. And then there's a lot of stuff, so it's kind of hard to see, but you've got a laundry, your laundry hookups here, your water heaters there. Um, got some fuses there. I don't know if the house is on fuses or I didn't see a breaker anywhere else. So it may, it may have all fuses. Uh, and then there's a door that goes into the backyard, but we're going to go out through the sliding glass door in the kitchen. So it's kind of a funky layout. And um, I mean, it's not awkward necessarily, but it's kind of hard to describe. I think hopefully you're getting a feel for it. So anyhow. If I walk down the end of this hallway here and turn right, I'm going to be in the living room. And if I turn right immediately here, I'm back in the kitchen. So kitchen has the cork flooring again. Um, and just kind of a long galley kitchen. It's fairly wide. I mean, the space, this walking space here is about five feet wide. So there's a decent amount of space here. Um, and cabinets, as you can see, like they took the doors off of these ones and the doors off some of the bottom ones. Um, and then same thing over here. Uh, so here's your little dining space, just a small, this table is probably three by four feet just to give you a feel for it. And it, it takes up most of that space. Um, and then again, just for reference, living room, front door is right there. Here's your little dining space and there's the sliding glass door. We're going to go through kitchen right here. So we'll head out the sliding glass door and we're back on this patio that I showed you before. So patio is covered. Um, it's probably 10 by 15 feet. It's a little bit of space I mean, you could put a little dining set here and have a barbecue or something and, and it'd be a comfortable area. Um, side yard here is kind of same as the front. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff that just needs to be maintained and cleaned up. Um, but walking around here, there's, there's grass down here that doesn't look like it's been maintained for a while. The ground's pretty uneven, but there's a big wide open backyard. Um, some old bushes back there that have to be trimmed back. You can see there's, this is, um, it, this is actually this, you'd access this house by going through the street uh, on the other side, but um, big backyard. I mean, uh, just to estimate like from the back of the house to the fence, it's probably 35 or 40 feet. Um, and end to end, let me, oh, I should have counted before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, about 13 eight foot panels so what does that work out to about 100 and 105 feet something like that so a pretty good size yard um you've got a oh i guess i should point this out i mean i don't know if this is abandoned or anything i didn't look but it looks like there's probably a septic tank here probably an old septic tank clean out um, but you've got a 
shed right here that's completely overgrown with uh, weeds and stuff, but it's just a little old dirt shed. There's probably not much salvageable there. And then this is another shed that's connected to the garage. So this is like built onto the back of the garage. So there's just, uh, this is just like a big storage space back here. Um, and then I can probably just get to the garage through here. Uh, yeah. So garage space in here, he's using it like as a wood shop. There's lots of stuff in here, obviously, but you can see this is an old garage. It looks dry, but there's definitely been an old leaky roof that hopefully was replaced at some point. But anyhow, um, that's the space. I mean, it, to get that house to rentable or airbnb -able condition, oh man, probably something in the fifty to $60,000 range. Um, but the lot's big enough that you could add on to it too. So there are definitely options. I think the lot has some good value in it. So anyhow, there's the house.